Okay, we got this going now. Um, as I was saying, there's the uh, the black apple. There was going. What's what's the deal with this black apple? Because uh, it used to be blue, and as you can see, there's still a blue apple there. I don't know why they changed it to black, except for it maybe stand out over some translucent backgrounds. Now, <clears throat> this is where I'm going to point out something. We had the back black background here, okay? That's the background I had. And I switched over to this. Now, you might notice something just happened when I did that. You might be able to tell in the video here, but it looks like the menu there, the actual menu bar is a little bit transparent. Fine, I can't. I'm a little used to some of the Windows stuff still, but uh, I was going to try and put a window behind that to see if we could get some darker shading there. But it doesn't want to do that. But it definitely is transparent there. Yeah, we can see some of the text behind there. So it's got a little transparent effect there. Um, let's see here. We got the system preferences icon. It's different. Time machine icon. Empty the trash. Now, one of the features of Leopard is supposed to be the dock floor here. It's supposed to have a mirrored effect. Now, I don't see this mirrored effect, but I think it's because I have it set to auto hide. So let me turn that off. Turn hiding off. I don't see no mirroring. If I place on okay, it has to be on the bottom for that mirror effect to work. So keep that in mind if anybody keeps their dock on the left or the right, that mirror effect apparently will not work. But as you can see, live on the bottom, there is a mirror effect to go ahead and bring this down. It shows up a little bit down there. Do have my magnification on. Let's see how it reacts to that. So let's bring it down here. There's no distortion of the actual mirror itself. That's pretty cool. Useless, but cool. So let me set my dock back to how I like it. I like it on the left, and I like it hidden, because the dock does take up a nice amount of space. Like it or not, it does. I like it on the left, and with magnification on, so I can just zoom right to what I need really quick. After a while, you can kind of get used to it. <clears throat> okay, so let me set my background back to... Uh, the blue one so it has a little bit of a stronger contrast uh, another thing I immediately noticed is uh, the wireless up here I went to connect so I could send a registration activation all that fun stuff turned the airport back on and I noticed our access point name I went to click that sometimes I gotta click it to reactivate it and I clicked it and it started showing the name of the access point up here. Now that might have been because it was connecting to it. But it did show that for a couple seconds. So let's try to join another network here. Show me some networks. Hmm. Now this is weird. I know there's other networks around me, but I don't see them. Then again, it is 6 in the morning, so it's possible that it could be shut down, but I almost always pick up a couple 
24-7 around here, so... Where did the other networks go? Hmm... That's interesting. If I do show networks, you'd figure I'd even see my network already in here, and I don't. I might have to restart the system for that to start showing up. Hmm. Looks like that's all still the same in here to network. Administration, location automatic adjust, that's good. Mm, little do most people know you can network with Firewire. <clears throat> Pretty sure I didn't have Discoverable turned on before. I'm going to turn Bluetooth off to save battery. Because I really don't use Bluetooth. Thought I had it turned off before. Looks like all that's fine. Now, see, the spotlight icon has changed. Ah, uh, okay, it's indexing. It's probably having to do a re index because of the system being reloaded. It's probably a different indexing scheme. Wow, it says it's going to take 10 hours to finish that. Okay, this guy's going to be left on <laughs> for a while. Uh, next thing I noticed was the icons on my desktop were slightly different. The folders look a little bit different. And some of the icons, like my PDF documents, they kind of look like do I dare say a document uh, let's open this one up here and yes indeed it is it is kind of if you look at that yeah look at our great freaking advertising method with yellowpages.com it sucks extra kind of looks like the document there let's see Trying to find something that isn't confidential <laughs> that I could open up. Uh, but does appear to be a little preview that I have an AVI file here. Looks like there's a preview of that there. Looks like it's a couple seconds in that preview picture. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like that's the same. Let's open up. Sizing it a little bit. Uh, they did say that they were going to change it to be more like iTunes. And I do have to say that is definitely what they did. Um, devices are showing up in a section, shared in a section, all that. I do see my uh, Mac Mini over there. And let's go ahead and do a Share screen. And that's our Mac Mini. Another room that's blasting out this awesome music. Looks like remote sharing, screen sharing is on 